Sleep-supporting herbs. Cannabidiol, CBD. Supports falling asleep, staying asleep, and quality of sleep. CBD, also known as hemp oil, is quickly becoming one of the most highly sought after and used sleep supplements in the world. Why? Because its benefits are finally being discovered and shared. It also just so happens to help alleviate three of the most common 21st century health conditions. Number one, stress and anxiety. Number two, sleep issues. Number three, physical pain. What is CBD? Cannabidiol or CBD is the non-psychoactive chemical compound that's found in the cannabis plant. It is one of over 60 plus different compounds present in cannabis. CBD is usually present in cannabis in high concentrations along with THC, the compound in cannabis that is psychoactive and makes you feel high. How does it work? In your body, you have what's called an endocannabinoid system, ECS. A complex cell signaling system identified in the early 1990s by researchers exploring THC, a well-known cannabinoid. Cannabinoids are compounds found in cannabis. Interestingly, the ECS exists and is active in your body even if you don't use cannabis. Without getting overly scientific and complex, there are two types of cannabinoid receptors in the human body, CB1 and CB2. Both are naturally found throughout the body, but are most common in the brain and the immune system. CB1 receptors are responsible for marijuana's psychoactive effects. These receptors affect sleep, memory, mood, appetite, and pain sensation. CB2 receptors have anti-inflammatory effects and are found in immune cells. CBD does have a high affinity and attraction for CB2 receptors, making it an excellent natural relaxant, anti-inflammatory, and immune system booster. As I mentioned, CBD also works as an analgesic, a pain reducer in the body that supports those who have trouble sleeping from chronic pain. According to studies, CBD can significantly support reducing insomnia symptoms and can increase overall sleep duration. In smaller doses, CBD can stimulate alertness and reduce daytime sleepiness, which is important for daytime performance and the strength and consistency of the sleep-wake cycle. This unique feature of consuming CBD can make dosing challenging. New research shows that it relieves anxiety without causing changes to healthy sleep-wake patterns. Some common questions about CBD. Is CBD legal? Unlike marijuana, CBD is legal in the U.S. On February 7, 2014, President Obama signed the Farm Bill of 2013 into law, which defined industrial hemp as distinctly different from marijuana. It further states that as long as the cannabis sativa plant has less than 0.3% THC, it qualifies as industrial hemp and is legal to be grown and sold in the U.S. Will CBD make me feel high? CBD offers many of the same benefits of marijuana without the high because it contains only minimal, if any, amounts of THC. It is entirely safe and non-addictive when purchased from reliable quality sources. Does CBD have any other benefits? Studies have found that CBD can alleviate nausea and vomiting, making a great digestive aid, help reduce and control seizures, help fight tumors and cancerous cells because it's a powerful antioxidant, help relieve anxiety and depression, calm and protect the nervous system, promote relaxation and deeper sleep, help reduce stress, help relieve insomnia, help reduce swelling and inflammation, and help relieve muscle and joint pain. Most people are using CBD as a natural alternative to support anxiety, reduce physical pain, and promote relaxation to improve sleep. As I mentioned before, it's also been proven to be highly beneficial treatment for seizures and neurological conditions such as multiple sclerosis. Which method of consumption is best? CBD is extracted as an oil from cannabis or hemp plants and comes in various concentrations and forms. It can be consumed as an edible, in a capsule form, or as a liquid tincture, vaporized or sprayed into the mouth. It can also be used topically and absorbed into the bloodstream through the skin from an externally applied cream. Which product form you consume depends on why you're using CBD. 
how quickly you would like to experience the benefits, and your personal preferences. Vaporizing CBD is a fast way to get CBD into the body, usually within minutes. Consuming edibles, capsules, oil, tinctures, or sprays usually takes two to four hours. Topically, it takes one to six hours. The best method of consumption depends on personal preference. The quality of the product and the number of milligrams are also factors to consider. Does CBD have side effects? CBD rarely has side effects when using the commonly recommended doses of anywhere between 2.5 milligrams to 1,500 milligrams. However, studies have found possible side effects may include drowsiness, diarrhea, and increases or decreases in appetite. Minus diarrhea, these side effects could potentially be beneficial depending on the reason you're taking CBD in the first place. Often CBD users are using CBD to help them get better quality sleep. The majority of studies currently available were performed for the treatment of epilepsy and psychotic disorders. Here, the most commonly reported side effects were tiredness, diarrhea, and appetite, as well as weight changes. Compared with other drugs used for the treatment of these medical conditions, CBD has a better side effect profile. However, more clinical trials with a greater number of participants and more extended CBD administration are needed. Is CBD addictive? CBD is non-addictive and safe when you're getting your CBD products from a reputable source. Unfortunately, because the benefits of consuming CBD are becoming more and more known, many companies are flooding the CBD market with poor quality and ineffective products. You want to look for reputable companies that offer organically grown, full-spectrum, CO2-extracted CBD. Will taking CBD fail my drug test? This is a common question, and the, and the answer is no. This is because legal CBD products contain no traceable amounts of THC, the chemical in marijuana that causes people to get high. However, consumers using substantial doses of CBD-rich hemp oil, products above 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams daily, could potentially have a false positive during initial screening due to other non-THC metabolites that may cross-react with the test. This is extremely rare. How much CBD should I take? How do you dose CBD correctly? There is no one-size-fits-all or easy answer to this question. It really depends on several factors. First, it depends on the quality of the CBD product you're using. Second, it depends on the reason you're using the CBD. Are you using it to relieve pain, help you get to sleep, or manage anxiety? Third, it depends on how much you weigh. Weight as a factor influences your metabolism, circulation, and health. However, everyone is different, so it's best to experiment with different doses until you achieve the desired result. Start small. Start with the smallest dose possible. Everyone reacts differently to various supplements, so it's important to become familiar with how your body responds. A good starting dose is 15 to 20 milligrams. In my experience, therapeutic relaxation effects are felt after consuming high-quality CBD in the dose range of 40 to 50 milligrams. Size matters. Large individuals may prefer a higher dose of CBD than smaller people. With CBD, you can easily scale up with a few milligrams at a time to meet your needs. Consistency is key. Using CBD consistently stimulates a healthy functioning endocannabinoid system. As cannabinoids enter the system, your body becomes more sensitive over time. Note, consult with a medical professional if you have a serious medical condition. Always consult with a qualified healthcare professional before consuming CBD. When is the best time to take CBD? Again, it really depends on why you're taking it in the first place. It also depends on the method of consumption. Generally speaking, most people take CBD an hour to a few hours before bed to help improve their sleep. Those who take it to manage pain should take it in the morning, and those who take it to alleviate stress and anxiety can take it any time throughout the day. Where do I get high-quality CBD products? As more scientific studies are released on the benefits of CBD, more and more products continue to hit the consumer market. You can purchase a wide variety of CBD products online and in some health food stores across the country. As with all supplements, it's important to consider the quality extraction, storage, and manufacturing methods before purchasing a product. Many supplements on the market today are ineffective and a complete waste of money because they simply aren't of quality ingredients or have poor extraction methods, making them ineffective at best. When evaluating a CBD product or company, look for these marks of quality. 
organically sourced, CO2 extraction method, third-party tested for impurities. The manufacturer is both GMP, good manufacturing practice, and PETA approved. Whole plant extracted CBD, extracted from the stalks, flowers, and leaves, not just the stalk. Look for full spectrum hemp oil. High quality CBD is a great alternative to dangerous sleep medications and can help people fall and stay asleep throughout the night. Lemon balm helps you relax to fall asleep faster. Lemon balm is an herb, part of the mint family. It has been used medicinally for centuries to address sleep challenges. It has been found to help reduce anxiety, especially when combined with valerian root. It has also been found to decrease feelings of stress and tension, as well as decrease fatigue due to stress while increasing calmness, thus supporting falling asleep quicker. It has also been found to help support those suffering from insomnia, especially women during menopause. Several studies show that lemon balm, when combined with other calming herbs, such as valerian hops and chamomile, has a very relaxing effect. Intake guidelines. Many sleep supplements combine lemon balm with other sleep-promoting herbs. Lemon balm is usually consumed in either a capsule or liquid tincture form. A 300 to 600 milligram dose has been shown to produce calming effects. Visit sleepscienceacademy.com forward slash sleep advantage to learn more about the sleep supplement brands that I recommend. Valerian root. Supports falling asleep more quickly, increases the quality of sleep, and increases amounts of nightly sleep. Valerian root is sometimes referred to as nature's Valium and has been used since ancient times to promote tranquility and improve sleep. It's an herb grown throughout Asia and Europe and is now also grown in the U.S., China, and many other countries. Valerian is one of the best studied herbs for sleep. At least a dozen or more scientific studies have found valerian used on its own or in combination with other herbs such as hops to improve sleep. Research shows that valerian can help people fall asleep more quickly, improve the quality of sleep, and increase amounts of nightly sleep. Valerian can also help ease the symptoms of insomnia, which are difficulty falling asleep, trouble staying asleep, waking up very early, or waking up feeling unrefreshed. How it works. Valerian contains valicenic acid, which has been shown to inhibit the breakdown of GABA. This chemical messenger helps regulate nerve impulses to your brain and nervous system, which results in feelings of calmness and peace, similar to how Valium and Xanax work. Evidence suggests that lower GABA levels related to stress are linked to anxiety and low-quality sleep. Taking valerian root may reduce the amount of time it takes to fall asleep and improve quality and quantity of sleep. Intake Guidelines Most studies of people with sleeping difficulties have found between 400 to 900 milligrams of valerian extract to be safe and effective dose for sleep support. In general, it's recommended that users begin with the smallest suggested dose of valerian and gradually increase it until it has an effect. For the best results, take it 30 minutes to 2 hours before bedtime. It has been found that valerian is most effective after taking it consistently for at least 2 weeks. It can be consumed as a tea, a tincture, or in a capsule form, and is often found in herbal sleep formulations. Note, valerian has a very strong odor that many people, myself included, find unpleasant. If you're not a fan of the stinky smelling tea, then look for valerian in a pill form or in a tincture to avoid the smell. Hops flower supports falling asleep. Historically, hops were a traditional medicine used as one of the herbs for sleep because of their calming, sedating, and hypnotic sleep-inducing effects. Hops also have a long history of use in herbal medicine dating back to at least the 9th century in Europe. Studies show that hops can boost GABA production, a calming brain chemical that promotes sleep. Hops also have a mild sedative properties, and therapeutic doses of this plant lower body temperature, which contributes to drowsiness. Hops may also be more effective when used in combination with valerian. This is because certain herbs work synergistically together to enhance the positive effects of each other. Hops on its own, 300 to 500 milligrams. Valerian in combination with hops, 187 
to 250 milligrams of larian to 42 to 60 milligrams hops.